What's up, everyone? My name's Chris Marshall with my boy, Frank G. We are the hosts of Build the Empire podcast. Frank G, tell the people what we do. What's going on, everybody? Chris and I, we discuss established empires while showcasing us building ours. Catch us every Monday and Thursday. We are awesome. I am your favorite. Frank is number two, but we are. Whoa, 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 just, whoa. What? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Tell me you were about to say we were still a dynamic duo after claiming number one spot. I was about to say that. That is written in our bio that we are a dynamic duo and we discussed pre-established empires of athletes, entrepreneurs, businesses. And uh, on Mondays, we sometimes have guests and, uh, you know, talk winning mindset. I guess today we'll talk winning mindset because um, I'm getting tired of seeing everybody not working. Everybody not working. Well, we're working. Yeah, I'm working after work technically, and I go on the the gram, and it's like stunning the amount of people who are just chilling on a Monday, summer, nice afternoon. Well, I, I mean, you got to make sure it's like uh, the right age group. Some people aren't in school right now. Most of that, I mean, most of yeah, I get you. I'm seeing, you know our demographic and it's all good but it just doesn't make sense to me because if you don't have a job which you probably don't because a shit ton of americans currently are unemployed yeah. so i understand that but that means now you have to minimize expense and you should also be extremely ambitious and driven that your job is to get a job well, I've always questioned, I'm, so, you know, working uh, in retail at Ferragamo, people would come into the store on like a Thursday or a Friday midday and be, just be there for a couple hours. And I'm like, and they'd come multiple times a month. It's like, I don't understand. Well, I don't know what you do. I don't know if you do anything. Somehow you just have a large sum of money. But I know in your case, we're talking about unemployment people probably. <clears throat> I'm talking about people who question why they don't have money to go on vacation, why they can't go on luxurious vacations, why they can't go on multiple vacations, why they can't buy a house or, or really move out at, at 30 years old, why they can't necessarily propose because they can't afford the ring, why they can't invest in the market, why can't they invest in a business idea. Like, it just doesn't make sense. I know everybody's not as fortunate as we are when it comes to an upbringing. But I swear, if you would have put me in the gutter, I would still make it out because I'm hungry as fuck. Well, yeah, so that comes down to not only upbringing, but your mindset. So obviously, we're all also both fortunate to have a positive uh, Which hustle we discussed mindset. yesterday. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, mindset is key, obviously. Uh, you know, we persevere through the tough times. Uh, but also, th the reason that these people can't get things, it seems, is because they're chilling on a Monday. I mean, most people... That's my point. And then, and then it's, it's mentally, the same people that are chilling on a Monday, acting like their life is great, is probably crippling most areas of their life because they have no income. Or if they do have an income, you're talking marginal income. The income that me and you had working in the mall at 17. Yeah, I don't. Today's day and age certainly cannot live off of that. I'll tell you that, Look, better. I mean, I'm not trying to brag or, or, or sound arrogant, but like at 30 years old, if you're not even close to six figures, or if you don't have a resume or a, a background, or you can articulate yourself in an interview to come close to six figures, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's just because we're business oriented people. Or, or if we're just, uh, uh, I mean, just kind of above the gate. Yeah, I mean, and I'd, I'd say depending on what you went to school for, you could be almost 30 years old coming out with six figures in debt. But that's a totally different story. That's another different story. I mean, if you have six figures in debt and then you get a six-figure job that is like capped out and, oh, man, you think you're making a shit ton of money, but really you would have made more money not having the, the debt and making 50K a year. It, you make way more money. Yeah, people don't seem to like like put that math together. They just see 
the the long run, the hundred thousand dollars, or maybe one ten as a doctor or a PA or whatever, and then they just kind of run with it. But then they just, they have a hundred thousand dollars in debt uh, that they have to pay off. In but the they're but but they're happy that they're making six figures. And to well, me, you can't you can't cap how much income you make. That is or that's capping your your mental potential. fortitude. Yeah, potential, your ceiling. Uh, I mean, with that, you're already setting a limit for yourself. So there ain't no limits, man. Yeah. There ain't no limits. I'm trying to be awesome. Trying to be awesome. Trying to travel the world. Trying to leave an impact. That's the mindset, dude. To leave an impact, a legacy, quote unquote. There is so much. First off, how how do you leave an impact? You have to change yeah. affect lives. lives. Yeah. And you have to do that at scale, mm-hmm. most likely visible. Like you're going to be known. You could probably do it without being known, but then you need to have a shit ton of money. Right. But it, I don't, I don't know. I mean, Oh, well, they like donating wises and stuff like that. Like, got like-, like if you don't have the attention to change lives or if you're not doing some sort of action, then, then how would you change lives? You create like nonprofits, right? Maybe. Yeah. Start yeah. A business. I mean, in that case, that that's, that's more like, that's a quiet lives. way. Yeah. It's a quiet way, but you can only do that if you essentially have the backing and money to do so. Yeah, yeah, the capital. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but like what we're doing right now is such a, a, a tangible thing, us speaking straight facts and more importantly from the heart that over time it's going to compound with the idea that it can change lives to think the way we currently think. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the way we think we see as such a positive uh, thing that we want to share it with, obviously, everybody out there. Because me and you are leaving in two days, 48 hours to get a fucking presidential penthouse in Cancun. I don't even I didn't even want to go to Mexico. I was just yeah. I, I, it, was, it was the only thing I could do. But people hear that and they're like, oh, I wish I could do that. What, why can't you? Why can't you? Well, because you're not working for it then. Well, or, not even that, but because maybe you're, you're, probably, not... you're probably spending $75 every time you go to the beach getting a bucket of beer twice a week. Well, I guess if you're doing that, then your priorities aren't straight because I'd rather be on a beach in Mexico than be on a beach in, I, I guess, wherever you are. Dude, I would be a hermit for, for four months, save my money, and then have a, a, a crazy wild experience that is so new that... I don't need to go to seaside or the shore every summer once yeah. a week for four years, five years, six years. Well, we like new experiences, obviously. We want to we wanna see new places, new cultures, potentially. You know, uh, Learning new cultures just teaches you new things in life, always. Which is what I think people don't understand. Learn, I mean, and, and it's funny because that is known, but that you don't understand that until you actually you do it. experience it. Yeah. And it really is a magnificent thing to really comprehend that when you travel somewhere and you talk to new people and people react to you, the interactions in itself, it, it, it's humbling. It, yes. it's, 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 um, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's wonderful to meet new people and see their like energy, their vibes, uh, and bring the vibes that we have to wherever we go. Uh, certainly going to be doing that this week. You know, hopefully everybody's chilling. We're going to be chilling. That's for sure. We're a hundred percent going to be chilling. In fact, I was in my yard and I'm like, our room is what two thousand square feet. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, how big is this fucking yard, dude? The yard is only a bit bigger than the room. I mean, that sounds like a big yard. <laughs> well, that sounds like a big hotel room, not a yard. <laughs> yeah, well, 2,000 square foot is definitely a big hotel room. Well, that's what happens when you get the presidential. I, man, we got, we got two queen beds and a one king bed. If anyone is listening to this, <laughs> and there's only about like 40 of you that listen to this, you don't understand. I will give you free vacations, and you will have this experiences. I will pay for half your flights, but you do have to work in essentially recording everything on video. <laughs> I mean, I be, know, being a cameraman, being a cameraman at an all-inclusive with the beach, the pool. I mean, obviously, 
Who's not going to want you get your breaks. You get to do what you, you know. You do oh, Jesus you Christ, do. though. I mean, if someone was to agree to that that uh, agreement, though, and then, like, get a little wasted on the beach, and like, <laughs> fuck you. I'm not recording you. Oh, man. Yeah, we, I can't, I'll cancel the flight. Oh, you say he rip up his plane ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, I because, mean, that's pretty mean, but, like, when you agree to that, you're essentially – you're, you're understanding that we're going to be as free and then have it like this all-inclusive fun where you're going to be there, but there's a slight amount of work that will be done. <laughs> <laughs> but you may enter a group and then, you know what, dude, honestly, I think you would, if, if I was presented that offer and I was passionate about like filming, yeah, I, I, I would do that in a heartbeat. If I wasn't even passionate about filming and I just want vacations, I would be for it. Yeah, you you would uh, essentially get a free vacation. You're seeing someone, I mean, not free, but half off. See the world. It's more than half off. I mean, yeah. they essentially, we have another bed. What are we going to do with that bed? I don't even know what we're going to do with that bed. Hopefully know there's potential ladies in the bed but at this time in this current environment that also sucks yeah i mean we we ain't trying to throw no rona party you know what i'm saying unless we got the coronas (laughs) we are in mexico my friend (laughs) that is true we will be cracking some coronas in a good uh cerveza (laughs) i'm thinking though i mean we got to, I got to figure out where the Mayan temples are, man, because we're in Tulum. We're staying in Tulum. Tulum is where like pyramids are and shit. Yeah. The yeah, only yeah. thing is I'm, I'm a little sketched out, but like, I don't know. That seems like an incredible experience in itself. Well, people sketched out as in leaving any type of resort right now in Mexico. So I was talking to, uh, you know, my buddy, Tom, Tom, well-known shout out, Tom, Tommy boy. Tom Tom made a very very valid point where it it <laughs> <laughs> it made my uh, uh what, what am I thinking thought uh, process no no timidness but like there's a res- uh no damn damn reluctant oh uh, man I use it in cells all the time Br- the walls of resistance they uh, he brought right. down he brought down my resistance because I was scared that going to mexico is uh is is unsafe yeah but then he he was like no he's like they're not gonna kidnap you and, and machete you up they want your money <laughs> yeah well he's I, like, I always think that way i always always he's like they way. want your money they want you to buy all the drugs that like you, you people buy there and i'm like I, i'm good I, I don't want either or <laughs> Yeah, you know, we'll we'll mind our business and we'll spend some money we already did, and hopefully we could just uh, exist, coexist with the cartel. Well, I mean, we've made some cartel friends. <laughs> well, we've been to Mexico a few times. Oh man, which is why we didn't want to go back. But it was the only thing that you well, it was the only country you could go to where essentially you're just not bothered by stupid covid inconveniences yeah yeah that a that a dr we would choose it from but seemed like dr dr even shut down you can't even yeah yeah they still had like that curfew so we decided not to go that route yeah i'm good i'm good you know i'm trying to still take precautions and yet still have fun and then i was actually looking through my expedia log and uh I totally forgot we went to Miami this year. So, I mean, this year we, re- we really went to mad spots, really. This is our fourth or fifth spot in a, in a pandemic year when no one left home. Yeah, well, it would have been a potential of seven or eight spots um, in the four months that we missed to being able to do much. I don't know. Because we probably would have went to Europe, hit up countries there, yeah, a which would have been one trip but like the price of two trips. Yeah, we certainly were trying to make that happen right before everything went haywire. That yeah, that nice. sucks ass. I mean, I would love a blonde European from <laughs> Switzerland who uh, calls me Christian. 
Christian. <laughs> like oh, whatever you want. You're Christian as in your name or Yeah. Oh, because <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, whatever. If that's the religion she wants me to be, fine. <laughs> You find a good Christian girl in Europe. I don't know, man. Bring her back home to mama. Well, in Costa Rica, they try coming back home. That's not happening. <laughs> you can stay there. We'll see you when we see you. Yeah, shout out, John. Shout out, John. John's shout birthday out. yesterday. Yes. Happy birthday, uh, buddy. John, you gave me one hell of a laugh, my friend. One hell of a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man some good happy birthday wishes some good surprises yesterday for that guy yeah yeah i mean hey he's making moves i mean he just goes to iowa and just goes back to school at 28 29 hey, he's 29 now so that takes a uh, big balls john shout out john balls commitment you know yeah shout out john that's good for you buddy Hope you know what we works, call yeah. that? We call that a go-getter. And mm-hmm. that is essentially the episode. Are you a go-getter or are you just a lazy sitter? A no-getter. A go-getter or a no-getter? Go-getter. Oh, I got to play. Oh, damn, that's R. Kelly. I refuse to play any R. <laughs> Kelly music nowadays. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It just hits totally different. Even though everybody uh, had uh, their accusations during the entire career of R. Kelly. Yeah, yeah I was still bumping. I was like, <laughs> well, this ain't it. This ain't it. Like, but, but Nothing last, proven. Year, yeah. last year, it was like, I can't listen to your music no more because what you did was wrong, pal. <laughs> what you did was wrong. It's no laughing matter, but <laughs> just the way it was brought up was funny. But yeah, no, it's that's unfortunate. I don't even know what's going on. Is he just rotting away for like life? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty yeah. much. Guess you you dig your own grave. Hey, Shadow, making a guest appearance. Yeah. And- My dog actually right now looks cuter on camera than I do. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's adorable with his little ears. What little- about me? I got you- little ears. You do got little ears. But they ain't <laughs> hey. flappy. I <laughs> Man, I tell you, I tell you, I appreciate you swinging by yesterday, hanging out and picking up Shadow's poop. I, <laughs> I just couldn't. And today, I had to pick up his poop. And let me tell you, the strangest thing happened. I felt like my poop smelled like his poop after I picked up his poop. Well, poop is poop, I guess, but. uh Poop is not poop. First off, tell the audience what you thought, what you figured out until you were like 23. <clears throat> what was that? <laughs> you thought that ass burning while pooping was a normal thing. And it's not normal. I mean, I just ate a lot of hot food at a very early age. So I just, I don't have a recollection, recollection before seven or so. So, like, you know, I'm thinking seven years on until I'm 22. Fire shits were just a normal thing. And then someone said, I can't eat hot food because my ass is always burning. I'm like, huh, that makes sense. Fire shits do not sound like a normal thing. <laughs> <laughs> we really need Papa Frank G up in here because pa- Papa Frank G over here, he'll be like, yeah, no, no. I mean, he's got an iron stomach too. I don't know what goes on with that family. Yeah, I Iron guess- stomach's the whitest feet. <laughs> the whitest feet. <laughs> feet's gasp is looking. <laughs> oh, it's funny because I remember looking down at my feet, and thinking like laughing, and then two seconds later, you come in the room. I just knew it was he was gonna point it out. I already do. Like, what the hell is wrong with me right now? Got a All I know blood. is, uh, did you eat your leftovers, kid? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday dinner leftovers were absolutely delicious today. Yeah, I feel like I should get a discount off Village Marie because I gave you fucking business, guys. Well, if we have any listeners from Village Maria, uh, you uh, guys had some excellent food, you know, for Sunday dinner. Me and my boy here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Very easily could get them to hear this. You just got to simply post and tag them and they will hear it. But I, I definitely am 
a ambassador. A Village Maria ambassador. You're a brand ambassador. Yes, yes, I am. I'll be right back. You uh, entertain the audience. Entertain the audience. So right now, of course, is being a father. We have his pup. All right, I'm back. So oh, I had oh, to was get. Quick. Yeah, well, I had to get what was my puppy, who was awesome, was eating, and it looks mm. like he was eating a PlayStation memory card uh, holder disc. When was the last time you seen one of these things? I don't know. That looks very old. Um, it looks a little smaller than a PlayStation one, but. It could be maybe a game holder for like a Game Boy. Yeah, like one of the later Game Boys with the cartridges. Yeah. Huh. Very hey. interesting to see the evolution of the gaming world, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, started out with like, what's that game that everybody plays? Um, the hell's the, the game with the bouncing balls? All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the answer to what he was chewing on. We were uh -oh. questioning it. It is a Pokemon ah, card I holder. I guess the little guy opened up the fucking thing. Well, I guess he, he's got a couple Pokemon he likes to play with. For Yo, toys. that's hilarious. That does make sense. He has Pokemon <laughs> toys. He was trying to just play a little video games, man. He's just, he's just a young boy. Makes sense. He is a young boy, but, uh, I mean, I do feel like a proud father. I mean, his balls dropped. He's getting older. <laughs> his balls dropped. Yeah, man. She, she's to the balls dropping. You know, my boy is just, a, that, that seems like it's water. Uh, this is a little uh, no sugar Red Bull. I needed a little energy today. Felt like uh, I woke up a little tired, did my workout. He's back again. Good kid. Good. That's uh You didn't even hear what I said, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if it was water or not. I'm so uh, curious. I'm like phone. watching I'm like watching you not have your headphones in and then answer. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said. I don't know, but he was drinking a red cup. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's not water, but... Uh, I guess knows. you'll have to listen to the episode yourself. You can leave a review. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Man, I got, uh, I got called out on the reviews for paying for reviews on Twitter. I gave uh, people... So, so I went on Twitter and I said, hey, listen to our podcast, leave a review, I'll send you some, some cash, five bucks. Yeah. I did not say leave a five-star review. I didn't say make sure it's positive. I didn't say anything in that regard i literally had people i had we had new listeners people actually listened left a, a very thoughtful caring review yeah. i'm thinking this is just a smart business tactic if i'm going to pay five dollars to listen leave a review again i'm not manipulating them by uh saying you have to leave a five-star review to get paid i just said leave a review appreciate it you'll yeah. get you'll get money yeah, yeah, it's it's almost the same as like taking a survey for five bucks. You see them online all the time. Someone yeah. might be, you know, listen to this. Maybe you'll be interested. Leave whatever review you feel like is right. Absolutely, I agree with that. So, and it's still up. I didn't take it down. I had people. In fact, I got Twitter followers now because of it. I have you know cool people that listen to the show, gave me their feedback. Uh, people left reviews. Majority of people did leave a five star review. Um, but I had this one douchebag who did leave a one star review who pretty much said I'm paying people on Twitter to leave five star reviews. And I can't figure out who that person was. In fact, I don't even think they engaged on the Twitter post. I think they seen it and then just wanted to be a troll and a douchebag and left a review calling it out. Yeah, well, sadly, sadly, those people exist. Uh, people that will waste their energy on a negative moment for no reason now if you really now, felt a negative way then it's understandable but it means sure. yeah but you can't leave a one-star review saying that i'm paying people for five-star reviews on twitter and that's not even the case i i didn't say anything about five-star reviews i simply said leave a review i'll pay you leave it a review people People were leaving. People didn't have, and this was specifically on Apple Podcasts. Yeah, yeah. People, people were leaving reviews, paragraph reviews, in response to my Twitter notion. Be and they don't have Apple, 
So they couldn't leave a review and they still got paid. Oh, because they had just left the review like on Twitter. Exactly. They listened to an episode, gave me their input, and then how are you not going to pay that guy? Yeah, yeah, of course. Girl. I mean, regardless yeah. of where you left it, I mean, you, you still left it. Um, I mean, if you – we really – we're just trying to get someone new, potentially interested. Um, and then we. Yeah, I'm a fucking go getter. I want some yeah. reviews. I want you to listen to the damn show. And uh, how do you get people to move? You pay them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the easiest way. If you're complaining about not being able to go on vacation, leave a review. Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know but if that I... was a dickhead or shout to say, but. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, if i could leave a review and get five bucks real quick i'd be on it takes <laughs> yeah. literally one minute yeah. one minute well you gotta actually you listen, gotta listen to the show yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can't just, you. just leave <laughs> yeah. a review yeah that, that that's a uh, we'll that's know if you didn't listen <laughs> uh, we will know but i mean it's, you can leave a five-star review but i ain't gonna complain <laughs> but but like then your review typically it sounds generic you can tell what's generic oh yeah not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could definitely, yeah. Because I mean, if someone actually is interested and leaves a review, it's it's crazy how much they kind of go in. They do dissect it sometimes. A lot of yeah. people are into it. And we have now like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen reviews. I want to say only five of those are from like that Twitter response. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were we were getting some reviews early on. Yeah. You get them more or- organically. They come. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, Apple you know, Podcast, we'd appreciate everybody if you yeah, were listening right now. Leave a we review. We just want you to listen to the show. Uh, a review would be nice. A review would be nice. Um, I imagine though, if you listen to like this part of the show, you have to like us as individuals, which means you're just an asshole if you leave a review that's not good. Because then, why are you even listening? I highly doubt that guy listened at all he didn't listen at all he didn't listen at all certainly wouldn't make it this far because like you all right so he spent 27 minutes to, to realize you that uh you, you don't like us i get it in fact i hit every person up who responded to that to that twitter post yeah and i'm like was this you, was this you? <laughs> <laughs> yo every one of them was like nah that person's an asshole this was mine and i'm like damn Dude, one girl even got one over on me because I thought like it was her because she said how she – so the, the, the review was how we pay people to leave a review and they didn't get paid. Now, I paid everyone who left a review. So now I'm curious who the fuck wrote that. So now I hit everyone up. I'm like, yo, did you get paid? You get paid? You get paid? This one girl, I thought it was maybe her. I'm like, mm. yo, if I didn't pay you, my bad. So I paid her and I said, edit your review and I'll give you like an extra 15 bucks. This, bro, she got 20 bucks and it wasn't even her. So what, she edited a review that wasn't hers? No, she thought, so I thought that was hers, hmm. but she just didn't leave a review. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're going to really find that out. I mean, I don't. No, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. It. So I guess a waste we're, rocking of energy. A, we're rocking a 4.8 rating. Hey, okay. man. You can't be perfect, but if you shoot for excellence, you're right there. Shoot for the stars. Shoot, shoot for, for the moon, moon you might reach a star. <clears throat> for the star. Yeah, shoot, shoot for shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll reach a star. Can't say pop without the smoke. What minute we on? We feel like we're over thirty. We're we're on twenty nine. Minute twenty nine right now. All right. I guess uh I'm gonna take my dog and wave to the camera like it's cute. That is pretty cute. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, Be a go-getter, not a no-getter. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.